in this question about circles, it's given that the endpoints of a diameter are found at 11, 8, and 5, 10. We're supposed to come up with the equation for this circle. So we're not given the center and we're not given the radius. We're only given two points in the diameter. But here's the thing about the diameter. The center point is in the middle. Isn't the middle, is that where the diameter lives? It goes right through the middle of the circle. And the center of the circle is in the middle of the diameter. So if I can find the, the middle of the diameter, I found the center. And we can do that by finding the midpoint between those two points. So we're going to find the midpoint. And to find the midpoint, you add up to x values, and then you divide them by 2. Then you average the x's. Then you add up the y values, divide them by 2, or you average the y values, and it gives you a new point, which is the midpoint, right smack dab in the middle. So I'm going to take my x values of 11 and 5, divide it by 2, take my y values of 8 and 10, divide those by 2. 11 and 5 makes 16, and 8 plus 10 makes 18, and if we divide both those by 2, we get 8 comma 9. That is the center, because that is the midpoint of the diameter. So now I know this much, x minus 8 squared, y minus 9 squared equals r squared. It does not tell me the radius. Well, we did a question previously where you were given the center and one point was on the circle. Well, I have the center and two points that are on the circle. So you pick either point you want, plug it in for x and y, and it will tell you what the r squared value is. I'm going to use the 5 and the 10. So if I plug my 5 in here, plug my 10 in here, I can find out what r squared is. 5 and 8 makes negative 3 squared. 10 minus 9 is 1 squared, and that would be 9 plus 1 with r squared, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So up here where you see an r squared, you replace that with a 10. So the equation is x minus 8 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals 10.